Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook as we continue to journey through Lent with the saints. Today, we're going to come to know St. Clair of Assisi a bit more, who lived from the years 1194 to 1253. Claire knew from childhood that she would devote her life to God, and she was inspired by St. Francis of Assisi's gospel embrace of poverty. St. Claire spoke with St. Francis and another spiritual advisor about how she might develop a similar community for women. On Palm Sunday evening in the year 1212, Claire and an aunt slipped from her home and walked to a nearby chapel. There, with Francis and his friars as witnesses, Claire dedicated herself to a life of service to God. Claire's father became furious, but Claire remained firm. Other women, including her mother and sisters, joined these poor ladies of San Damiano, known today as the Poor Claire Nuns. They lived in poverty, simplicity, and seclusion, according to the rule Francis gave them. Though Claire never left her convent, she was a leader within and beyond her community, offering spiritual guidance and letters to popes and those of royal background. Francis and Claire remained friends until Francis's death. At her death, Claire's last words were, Blessed be you, O God, for having created me. Friends, as we hear about St. Claire, who dedicated her life to God, you might say, well, Father Rico, I don't think I'm being called to live a life of religious life in a cloistered convent. And that may be the case, friends, and for some of us, we may be hearing a tug to religious life. But what St. Clair actually teaches us is this idea of simplifying our lives. Lent is all about coming to pray more and to simplify our lives removing ourselves from our attachments, and placing a greater need in our relationship and dependency on God. So what can St. Clair teach each of us? Well, perhaps each of us can model our lives after this idea of simplification. How many people, when you ask how they're doing, answer with, I'm busy? Do you ever get that when you talk to someone? How are you doing? Oh, I'm busy. Wonderful. Aren't we all? What does that actually mean? Well, sometimes that's just, you know, an excuse or a cop-out to make it seem like our lives are full of something. But the reality is answering busy really is not a great description of how we're doing or how we're actually living our life. St. Clair teaches us to be more simple in life. And that doesn't mean putting off things we don't like to do. That doesn't mean that we aren't responsible for the things that we are responsible for, but rather it's making sure that we keep things in perspective. Lent is all about slowing down, recognizing the presence of God around us, and then our need to also serve others at the same time. So for each of us, friends, let us call upon this beautiful prayer warrior of our church, St. Clair, and ask her to help us. Clair was able to be much more contemplative than perhaps you and I might be. And so can her witness and life encourage us to be more contemplative as well? As Clair spent time in prayer with God, her sisters would talk about that her face would become radiant She would say, place your mind in the mirror of eternity. Place your soul in the splendor of glory. Transform your entire being into the image of the divine one himself. Let's reflect upon those words again. They're quite beautiful, aren't they? Place your mind in the mirror of eternity. Place your soul in the splendor of glory. Transform your entire being into the image of the Divine One Himself. 
Friends, let's spend some time today in contemplative prayer with God. Let's slow down our lives. Let's block out the noise and be more like St. Clair. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of St. Clair and her witness for each of us. May her intercession encourage us to be more contemplative in our prayer life, to slow down, to realize your presence in our midst, and ask your Holy Spirit to help us to simplify our lives. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Buzzsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.